Okay, you have your algorithm for your max and min program, and you know you need to start your code, but you're a little bit confused about how to get started. So I'm going to give you some more hints. We're going to walk you through the first part of this process. I've opened up a new window in Code Sculptor. It looks like this, and the first thing that you want to do is put in your comment block at the top. This is something that's easily forgotten, so if you make it a habit just to do this first, then you won't go astray. So you're always going to include your programmer name, your date, and the name of the program. So this is your max and min. So that is an important step, I think, that you include your comment block at the top. Now I can take off most of this code. I know I'm still going to need my import simple GUI. And I'm going to get the rest. I'm either going to type it myself or I'm going to get it from SCORES program. So I've opened up the SCORES program here. This is the one that we finished a couple days ago. And I'm going to use some of this code and I'm just going to modify it. Now I know that I'm going to be displaying some text on my canvas. And anytime you do that, you need to have them as global variables. These are the only global variables we use, unless maybe you're going to use a level or something. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this into my code. Now I want to change these names so that they are descriptive for this program. I'm not using scores or total or average. Instead I might use something like count, max, and min. And this is just going to be my example. And I don't want you to just copy. So think about it and use the names that you would like to use. They might be the same as mine, but they don't have to be. This is just one example. But the main thing is that you use descriptive names. Now this is going to be the intro that shows on the canvas when you click the start button. So we want to modify this just a little bit too. It's fine to say welcome to this program. And instead of saying enter the number of students, I just might say enter numbers between 1 and 100. And get back the max and min. Or the highest and lowest. So it can be some kind of just simple directions right here that lets the user know as soon as you're running the program what's going to happen and what's expected of them. We could use the ones from, from the scores program and we just have to make a few modifications to customize it. And the next thing we can do from the scores program is take a look at the bottom. The things that are in our handler functions are all going to be pretty similar. I know that I need to have start. I know that I need to create a frame and have a button. I know I need to do the draw handler. I know I'm going to have canvas, drawing on the canvas, and I'm going to have a start button. So this is like for sure. I'm also going to be having an input and a button. So if I want to go ahead and copy all of my handler functions and make some changes, that's a pretty good way to start. So I'm going to take this whole section here and copy it and paste it, and we're just going to work our way through and make the changes that we need to make. Let's start from the bottom. I'm not going to change anything here. All of this is pretty much standard. Now I could change the size of the canvas if I want uh, or anything like that, but this is all pretty standard right here. Let's take a look at the draw function. I am going to be drawing the text on the canvas, but notice right here my variables are no longer scores, total, and average. So something I can do right away is go ahead and reflect this change. So for me, I call my variables count, max, and min. I want to go ahead and change that. So just going to kind of go step by step, a little bit of incremental development here to make sure that I'm not having some errors. Working way up to the start button, I am going to have an input. I am going to have a button. I can change what's going to show above the input box. Instead of saying how many students, I might say something like how many numbers. And instead of saying unknown number of students, I might have don't know how many. Now your prompts don't have to be this. So just think about what, what text do you want to show on the button? And what prompt do you want right above the input box? So just customize this for what you want. And then finally, I have to come up with a name for my handler functions. So when I click on the so when I press enter for the input box, it's going to execute this function. And when I press the button, it will execute this function. Now those aren't descriptive names for this particular program, so I want to change the names. This one might be something like find max min. 
And this one might be something similar. Maybe I just um, add a 2 to it or capitalize something, or I'm just going to change the order of min and max. So it doesn't really matter. You just want two descriptive names that are kind of similar. And I'm going to come up here. I have a handler for my input, and it's clearly labeled with a comment, and a handler for the button. Well, these are the new names that I selected. So I'm just going to copy the name from my input and paste it right here. And copy the name from my button and paste it right here. Now I don't really want to have any code yet. I want to just make sure that my canvas works. I'm going to put the word pass here. The same thing here. So this is called a stub. If I have a function definition but no code in it, this will enable my program to run without stopping here. And I can do this for all the functions. If I know what I'm going to call them all, I can just make them stubs. And then I go in and fill in the code as it's time as I'm going through my incremental development. So if I don't have any typing mistakes at this point, this program should work without any errors. That won't do anything yet, but it should run. So let's give it a try. I've clicked. I've just started it. I'm going to click on the start. I've got my intro right here. Click on the start button. I've got my input box and I've got my button. So I've got an error free code right now. You want to just get your code finished and get this much working before you go in any further. Make sure that you don't have any questions. If you do, just ask before you go on. This is the time to get everything all cleared up and straight in your mind.